to the field now. Um, you know, everybody gets there normally an hour or two hours before their field work, like teamwork actually starts. We're, we're sectioned off into groups right now. We have like four teams. Uh, tomorrow, the rest of the guys will get here. So we'll have a full minor league camp starting tomorrow. But today's the last day of this uh, development camp we have. About 80 guys here. My group today gets started at 1010 mental prep and then we'll roll into dynamic stretch. Right now, I got about a 10, actually 15, 20 minute drive to the field. Uh, Y'all stick with me today and we'll, we'll keep this thing going. This is for a hydration test. They keep us hydrated all day. Uh, they test us every morning to make sure we're hydrated. And uh, they give us some vitamins with it. And uh, that's how we started that. They give us a nice setup here. Uh, our nutrition staff's doing a great job. They give us a yogurt bar. Hey, Luke. What's up with that? Uh, fruit, drinks, food every day, breakfast, lunch. And here we are. Good morning, y'all. Hey, you doing? Good. Uh, you some Friday? Uh, I'm going to go scramble with ham. I'm going to go pork sauce. It's fried cheese. Thank you very much. Let's give us like an hour, two hours a day before practice starts to kind of do whatever you want. Everyone has their different routines. Deanie's going through his stuff to get ready for catching. Our catchers work out before practice. Position players are after practice, which I'm a post guy. I like to work out post because I like to get everything out of the way and then and then tear the body up in the weight room. Hey, how'd the Longhorns do this weekend, baby? They sweep ammo? What? They swapped Bama, didn't they? Yeah. Oh man, my dad went to Bama. He's probably unhappy about that. How's camp going? It's good. Good camp. Love it. Catchers get the brood in, or the, the tough end of the stick at the camp. Yeah, it's expected though. Yeah, it's expected. You sign up for it if you're a catcher. Yeah. They gotta do everything we do on top of catching bullpens and stuff. It's kind of that yeah, I'm okay with it. Yeah, it's what you do. It's what I'm here for. Alvarez is already out here. He's teaching me one word a day in Spanish, so one day I can at least, you know, halfway speak Spanish. Alvy, what's the word of the day? What's the word of the day? What's Spanish for for feel? Style. 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 Feel is style campo. Style campo. Yeah. Yeah. Style campo. Field. Uh, camiseta. 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 Yeah. Jersey. Gora hat. Azul. Blue. Yeah. Quince 15. Yeah. Uh, lintes. Yeah. Sunglasses. Guante. Guante. Uh, Guante glove. How do you say cleats? Uh, you gotta say cleats too. Cleats? Yeah. Cleats. Cleats is cleats. So that's good. So we're gonna quickly turn into the idea of overcoming the shoulds that come up in our head. What things should be, what I should be doing. And we're gonna let those go and then we're gonna be grateful for the baseball in our hands. Okay? So go ahead and take some time to your breath. Jager bands to get our arms loose, get the muscles going, and just kind of get the throwing motion underway. They gave us a couple systems, heavier, lighter balls to kind of get the arm awake. We just finished up uh, mental prep, dynamic stretch, throwing program. Now we're about to have some team defense, or was it team defense or individual defense today? Yes, yeah, so we got defense, outfield, uh, 
led by Indy Chavez and Matt Dendecker, our outfield guys. It's, uh, it's pretty good when you know both outfield guys are former big leaguers, Mets guys that, that care a lot about our organization and, and is really good at what they do. Stuff outfield defense. Now we have a quick manager's meeting just to talk things out and just see how it goes. And after that, we got cuts and relays from the outfield working with the infielders. Then we're going to wrap it up with a little cage time. All right, so we got uh, cut off some relays today. We're going to play it live. Uh, we're going to run out there and do everything that we need to do. All right, so I'm expecting good throws from the outfielders, uh, elevated. Infielders have taught that we're going to catch everything that we can down below the first guy. So if it hits off of them and bounces away, the air is going to be on you guys. So you might as well elevate the ball. When you see a good throw, get out of there. Because the good throw is not going to change. If he's hitting them right there, get out of the way so you're not in this throwing lane. The great thing about this camp is that, you know, most spring trainings are very, you know, quick, quick, quick. Uh, this, this camp, we've been able to get a lot of swings off. Uh, guys have been talking about how much we've enjoyed a, a big allotment of time to, to really hone in on what we're trying to work on. Because everyone has different swings, you know. But today's a great day to do that because we get 30 minutes of cage time and nothing else. thing about this whole deal we got blue power in on whenever we want. Uh, can I oh, hey, how you doing? Shredded beef. Look at that. That is our day. Thank you all for following me today. Thank you.